We're Tyler and Ava, a traveling tattoo artist from America and an ex-flight attendant from Taiwan. We're currently traveling the world, looking for people to tattoo and adventures for our souls. In this episode, watch as we travel from Tirana to Skoder to start our newest adventure, working on an eco farm. We meet some really cool people and get to see some of the sights. We absolutely love this city, Skoder. going to a place called Skoder, which is in the north of Albania. We're going to be working on a farm. We found them through Workaway, and there's a few reasons why we're going to be doing that. One is to get new experience because we love to try new things. Two is because we're looking for people to tattoo. Three is to really get to know the culture, so what better way than working on a farm here. Four is just to make new connections and just have fun. And five also is to save on costs because if you you work four to five hours a day for five days a week and then you get two days off and then you pretty much get a free place to stay which helps cut down our costs on traveling. Just so you guys know, the buses are really hot. So I sweat. Bus ride to Skoder. I'm working on this sketch. We arrived at the farm ready to work. It's nestled between the northern hills, not far from Skoda Lake. The surrounding area was breathtaking with its farms, trees, and mountains. Pretty much settled in here, so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys our room, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Going to get groceries on these old school rickety bikes. But at least they have bikes, and it's pretty fun. Got a whole bunch of stuff water, eggs. Some fruit and veggies. The farm originally started from nothing, not even a single building. It currently has a hostel with bunk beds, bungalows, a large kitchen, and housing for animals. It's amazing how far it's come since its beginning. We quickly realized that us being there was going to be a huge help to the animals and the farm itself. If anyone is interested in donating their time or money, it would be a huge help to all those at the farm animal or human. I'll put a link in the description for you to check it out. Right outside our door and we got chickens. It's fun living on a farm because of this. So right now I got all my crap. I'm gonna do some watercolor painting. I wanna, I've been missing art. And that's one of the problems with this whole travel bit is the traveling you're just so busy running around that some things take precedence over others. So I've been really missing doing art. And finally, I have a little bit of downtime. I just drew Martine here. That's Martine. <laughs> Get our water. And you said it's fresh fountain water, is that? Fresh spring. Fresh oh, spring water. Doesn't get any better than that. We're going to be doing a little bit of work today. The other day we cleaned up the kitchen. It was sort of uh, in pretty bad shape. Um, because I guess they had like a, an event here with kids, so Ava and I just scrubbed the living shit out of it and cleaned it up. We are going to be working on one of the rooms here. 
There's a lot of rooms here for people to stay as like hostel-ish and one of the rooms is, is quite nice. Uh, we're gonna reorganize it and clean it up and make it the way that uh, the head guy, his name is Martin, uh, the way he wants it. And that's what's on schedule for today. show you guys uh, what we did today. We did a lot of stuff. We moved the couch in, moved the bed, put this thing in, big fridge. We also took one of these couches and moved to the hostel all the way down there, which is like pretty far away. Did some big job today, and yeah, it's been a good time. So it looks like for the rest of the, we have a weekend coming up, Saturday and Sunday. We did the big jobs, we helped a lot, good, we put in a good amount of work. And this weekend, we're gonna be going into the city of Skodrik to check it out, and also probably going to the castle. So that electric scooter that we're riding is not strong enough for this hill, so I'm walking. Yeah, imagine laying all of these stones. <laughs> Rosafa Castle was an Illyrian stronghold since the antiquity. It has survived through the dramatic changes of tide over the course of Albania's fascinating history and during the Roman and Ottoman empires. It sits 130 meters above sea level, surrounded by the Buna and Drin rivers. Legend has it the construction of the castle was cursed by the gods, who would demolish each day's work overnight. In order for the castle walls to stand, they demanded a sacrifice from the family residing in it. Through manipulation, the oldest brothers made the sacrifice to be innocent Rosafa, the youngest bride of the household, before being buried alive inside the castle walls. She requested that half her body remain exposed so she could continue to nourish her baby. This legend truly shows the strength of women who sacrificed their lives for something love about Albania um, and this castle is you're free to roam around wherever you want. You do what you want. You take a look, you see something you like, and you go. How cool is that? That's one of my favorite things about Albania, that's for sure. I love the freedom that they give you. And when you're free, you get to explore places like this. This was an absolutely epic day and uh, yeah, time for new adventures. So it's gonna be freaking amazing. Hope you guys can follow us, subscribe if you're interested, leave a comment down below, smash the like button. And yeah, we'll see you guys along with the adventures. See ya.